everybody welcome back to my channel as you guys have seen by the title of today's video today i am filming a what i eat in a day because believe it or not i actually do eat a lot of food in a day and the last food video i did you guys really enjoyed watching it so i'm going to do it again because my diet has changed a little bit i'm not gonna lie i mean i probably still do eat very unhealthy but i have been trying to eat slightly healthier it says the girl who eats chocolate every day but it's fine we're not going to talk about that <laughs> so yeah so i obviously have my makeup on and stuff now um yeah but anyway i am sure you guys are wanting to watch this video so before we get into this video please make sure to leave a thumbs up a comment down below and subscribe and without further ado let's go on with the video for breakfast what i usually have is a chocolate filled crepe the mum has actually laid these out because she probably thinks I want hot chocolate as well. Ever since it's been getting colder, I've been having hot chocolate and this brand of hot chocolate is amazing. I'm probably not going to have a hot chocolate this morning because I like having fruit too. I used to really like having orange juice, however, I don't really know why. I think it doesn't stick to your teeth like orange juice does. So that's why I've been having this every morning but what you've got to do with these is put them in the microwave for six seconds hello <laughs> i look and sound so tired i am aware in for six seconds because that is what the packaging tells you to do on the highest setting right and now we wait <laughs> now we wait for it to be heated up right it's nice and warm. The chocolate has all melted. I'm going to pour myself a glass of Fimto and then I'm going to have my breakfast. The breakfast is all done. It literally takes me five minutes to have a breakfast and I usually have this pint of Fimto until... I leave the house however i won't be leaving the house until around 10 o'clock today because i'm actually going food shopping with my mum so that's fun but i'm gonna have a shower and then do my makeup and then i'll most likely be hungry for something else for a small person i do eat a lot of food and you guys will be able to see that in this video so you're gonna be very shocked at, i think anyway so you have to wait and see what I eat in the day. So keep watching the video. <laughs> but yeah, I am very thirsty because I've just woke up. I've not had anything to drink. I think I've only had a sip. So I am thirsty, honestly. Right, so I look more alive now. I look like I just have black eyes. But yeah, wow. Oh my God, my eyes are so dark. I seem to be going for really dark eye looks at the moment. Anyway, I've done my makeup. I've got dressed. I am wearing this... River Island blouse. I used to wear this all the time yeah, last year. Um, it's really nice. I do have in my River Island jeans on, so I never really wear these days, but I thought you'd come on. Anyway, I am feeling a bit hungry again now, so I am going to get myself a snack. I'm kind of thinking of having a banana to try and be healthy, so I'm going to have that and then me and my mum are actually going food shopping so this is a good time to film this video because it will be stocked up on food which means i can just like raid the fridge and stuff and be able to have loads more food later so the perfect timing i'm going to be going food shopping with her so i need to have a snack before i go also who loves my new boots and primark honestly love them they are so nice in like a gorgeous like tanny suede color beautiful beautiful so let's go to the fruit bowl you have a lot of fruit in here apples and pears i don't I like pears i like apples however i can't eat them because of my retainer so that's not good plus this one's a bit hmm it's not looking good so i'm gonna have one of these because i seem to like these now i never used to like bananas but the one i did it when i was it really little but then i went off them for probably like 12 years or something but i'm gonna have this before we go food shopping you know healthy it's so nice i've also been trying out 
a new loose powder and I actually hurt them. I'm not going to be using it ever again on myself because I actually hurt the loose powders. They are so hard to work with, like, why? But yes, I'm going to have this because it smells so good. If you've just done the other food shopping, your washing machine is on, so you will have to excuse all the noise. Yeah, but for lunch, I'm going to be having pasta, sweet chili chicken and pesto because I actually really like pesto. Like, the first time I ever fucking tried it, it was the other day and it's really nice with pasta and chicken and stuff. So I, I got this from Lidl today. Here yeah, we have some spare pasta and just, we've had this for a few days. So I'm going to make this up now and have my lunch before I go to work. So yes. I'm excited to have this because I'm sure it'll be really nice. The lunch is served. I've got pasta, peas, and sweet chili chicken and pesto. Get the sweet chili chicken from Lidl, honestly, it tastes amazing. So I'm going to have this. You can Pepsi Max. I'll watch something on the TV. Yeah, I'll say this because it, it looks delicious. The lunch is all demolished and I am still very really hungry. I actually got a baguette from Lidl. If I'm a little bakery, so I'm gonna have a bit of this and kind of mock up like all the sauce and stuff. Honestly, it was such a nice combo the pasta, a sweet chili chicken, and pesto, and the vegetables. Honestly, amazing. I watched a bit of this morning as well, but yeah, it is bread from Little Bakery, it's absolutely to die for. I've had some bread and I am still hungry. <laughs> yes, I am hungry still. I did tell you all, I do eat a lot of food, so. I'm gonna have a chocolate cookie. I usually warm these up, however, I, I don't know if I should. Actually, I think I am because these taste so much better than when they've been warmed through in the microwave and then they're all they're melted and kind of like a gooey chocolate. I'm, honestly, that is amazing. Tesco Fires cookies are unreal. I recommend you get some because they are beautiful. You know, so that's gonna go in the, the microwave on the highest setting for 50 seconds. So we'll wait for that to heat up and I will show you what it looks like after like it's all heated up or something it is to die for. Love it. This is gonna get me fork and stuff. I've been watching this morning and it's got and like all the Halloween y content on there, so like all the Halloween outfits. I mean I've never been if someone kind of celebrate Halloween because I have always, I have always, I, my birthday is on Halloween. So it's getting pretty close to my birthday. I'm really excited. I'm going away with Scott. So that's going to be fun. So I'm excited to go away and I will be vlogging my birthday and be vlogging <coughs> when we go away and stuff. I think we've already mentioned, but if we're going to Manchester for my birthday, it was meant to be a surprise, but Scott's parents and stuff like accidentally blurted it out. Oh, and that is this ready. I'm going to show you what it looks like because it's beautiful. Oh God, that smells amazing. It's all melted. Oh my God, that is beautiful. It smells unreal. I'm going to work in around half an hour. So this is going to keep me going for an hour or so probably. Yeah, the reason I'm probably eating a lot of food is because I think I may be due on my period soon, so that's probably why. <laughs> but I'm gonna have miss. Oh, it smells beautiful. Oh my god, I love my chocolate. You probably gathered from the video already, but I love my chocolate. Oh, I'm excited. Mmm, wow, I'm gonna go. I can't. I'm back home from work now. I literally only had one client today so i've had a really quite a day a quite a poor day for in the salon but we're in october so you know it's just gonna be like that i'm not really too hungry because i did have a big can of lunch however every day here this week i've been having hot chocolate and i am obsessed with options the belgian hot chocolate it's meant to be you know, like a low calorie, a low calorie one, but it tastes way nicer compared to your your Galaxy and Cadbury ones because we actually have like a pot of Galaxy hot chocolate, right? And it doesn't taste of anything. It just tastes of like 
of having the warm water. And who else agrees with me that, that Cadbury and a Galaxy Hot Chocolates are crap? I'm gonna put the kettle on and make this, and I'll kind of show you how I make my hot chocolates because I do make them a certain way. Yeah, the water's all heated up, so I'm gonna show you how I make it. You need semi skimmed milk, and not whole milk or skimmed, it's got to be semi skimmed because it's just better. Yeah, the hot chocolate, I'm also going to add a little flake in there. I don't have any, yeah, what's it called, squirted cream, you can never buy it, but. This is going to do also I have a little a mug from Scott. It's the perfect size for hot chocolate. It's quite a wide kind of glass, so you can fit a lot of liquid in here anyway. I'm just going to pour half of this milk in. I need to be careful with how I'm pouring it because I'm, I'm filming at the same time. Halfway up there, and then after that, isn't it obviously? I do not want any spillages or it to go off. Then all I do is I get about a teaspoon and a half of hot chocolate. Yeah, this smells so good. If you've never had this hot chocolate, you need to really have it. I'm gonna put that in there. And I'm probably like half a one. Just make it extra chocolatey. And what I do is I kind of stir it into the milk. Then after that, I'm gonna put the lid on otherwise in case I accidentally knock it. <laughs> then put the hot water in from the kettle. And this is base. Oh, I'll, I'll put some more water in. This is basically how I make a hot chocolate. I'm just going to stir it in. It smells so good, and as you know, I love my chocolate. So this is like a daily treat for me now. Flakes, the uh, flakes are so nice with hot chocolates. It's going to keep stirring it in. It looks delicious. Oh my god. I'm literally going to dip this in and kind of melt it in because when you add a bit of chocolate into your hot chocolate, it kind of adds a bit more of like a chocolatey taste and flakes and melt away really easily. It's pretty much all melted now, so that's how I make my hot chocolate. I'm really excited to drink it. Hey, look at that flake, it's melting away already. Look at that. Yeah, it's gonna keep stirring it in and then I'm gonna have this. I'm not gonna have anything to eat because I am still full up surprisingly. It is a time in the month now, so yeah, that's probably why I have been eating a lot of food. For tea, I'm gonna be having fish and chips because my mum is actually gonna make it for us and mushy peas. I've not had fish and chips and mushy peas in ages, so I am pretty excited. Yeah, I'm gonna have this now because it looks divine. Before I start making my tea, I'm going to wax my legs. You're thinking, you're waxing your legs? Yeah, I am. <laughs> my legs are really hairy. I'm not going to, well, they're not really hairy because I've been waxing my legs for a few months now. I have a lot of patches of hair where it's not actually growing back anymore. But the part where I do have hair, it's really dark coarse hair and I don't really shave my legs anymore because I hate it, it when it grows back it really thick and horrible so what I'm going to do is wax my legs I literally have like a drop of wax in my wax pot so you know it's not good I'm just gonna like do half my leg from my knee down um, and then I will have my tea after that I think I'm going to be making my own tea because my mum isn't very well at the moment and she's not really too hungry. The original plan was we were going to have our tea together, but it's not going to happen anymore. So I'm only going to make it for six o'clock. It is currently nearly quarter past five, so I better hurry up and wax my legs because I am feeling pretty hungry. So that's what I'm going to do before tea because I need done like actually horrendous. So guys, it's now time for me to make my tea. I am having fish and smoked paprika wedges. Yeah, my dad actually made the beans the other night and yeah, they're really nice. And these are the M&S, they're lightly dusted, two cod fillets. M&S food is really good. We don't do our weekly shop there. However, whenever mum pops into town, she sometimes has a look and see what there is. And also some mushy peas from Lidl, because Lidl do really good food. And I never used to like mushy peas, but 
I seem to like them now. So what I'm going to do is open the olive oil and spread it about on the oven tray with this little IKEA silicone tool thing. It's just really good for spreading oil all around the tray because it just kind of spreads it around and you know it does its job really. Chef Alice over here thinking she's some sort of pro chef when she doesn't even know how to cook spaghetti bolognese or whatever else. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a good cook. I definitely have not inherited my dad's cooking skills because he is a really good cook and I'm not just saying that because he's my dad. He genuinely is a really good cook. Um, now, let's open these. The oven's heating up. I was kind of waiting for it to beep at me. I love cod. I've always like fish and chips yeah these look really good though yeah it's a bit cold but you know it's fine i'm gonna put like a bit of oil on top of them and just slightly pat it down so like, it has a bit of oil on it and yeah, these are going to go in for 25 minutes and then i'll probably put in the mushy peas probably like in the microwave for, for two and a half minutes on the highest setting i think i've got to use all of these yeah these are really nice yeah my dad he made these himself you know, fresh food, fresh proper food. They're not any of the processed crap that you get in the packets. I mean, I usually have packet chips. I'm not being a snob or anything, but it's because it's made these fresh, which is very nice of him, bless him. Yeah, what would I do without my dad, without his lovely food? I'm just spread them about, put some oil over them, excess oil off the brush. I could make a cooking channel. If you want to see a cooking channel, hit me up. <laughs> oh my god, imagine if I actually started cooking really nice food, I'd become up. I became this really good chef. That'd be quite funny, wouldn't it? Yeah, so I'm gonna wait for these to go in the oven. I am starving. I've not had anything to eat since lunchtime. It will tell a lie, the hot chocolate situation, but I mean, that was only like a little flake, you know? But yeah, I'm excited for this because it looks pretty yummy. Yeah, the wedges look unbelievable. They've already been cooked, but obviously like, they need to be cooked again. You can cook potato multiple times, it still cooks really nicely. Also, my legs are so smooth. Like, oh my god, hair free now for another two and a half the weeks until I have to wax them again. But yeah, I feel accomplished. And I am also unloading the dishwasher. Who would have seen the day that Alice would unload the dishwasher? But... I'm being a helpful daughter because if my mum is ill, as I said, so like I was kind of putting bits away. It's nearly emptied now, so I'm going to get a move on with this. Once the food is in, it'll be in for 25 minutes, but like probably have to, I'll probably have to set an alarm for around 20 minutes and then I can put the mushy peas in. I used to absolutely hear these, but now I love them. Like, I'm addicted to them. Scott has come and surprised me. In this <laughs> haven't you surprised me i literally you still can't believe i went it. upstairs and oh, yeah, my oh. curtains were still open in my room and i looked out the window and i could see it's scott they're walking in the middle of the road and i was thinking hey, that's good to be like it's looking hey, like or something a shadow from the eyelashes. have i oh shadow and i was really confused as to why he was here but he surprised me and he got me some chocolate orange buttons as well and then we're going on a walk after our tea, aren't we? Yeah, maybe have some buttons as well. So I'm, like, I'm filming yeah, what I'm eating today, Anna. Buttons. But the mushy peas are in the. No, no. The mushy peas are in there. I've been in for like a a minute and a half. However, I might have to put them in for longer. I'm not too sure yet. We'll see. Are you excited for tea? Yes, I want to It's basically, it's got my mum. I basically planned oh, him coming through. So I wasn't actually making tea for my mum, I was making it for Scott. What? Cakes and Pumpkin Fridays, the holiday cottage that bought Halloween treats off me. Of oh, lovely, yeah. Put that wow. On. You should be proud of yourself, Scott. Oh, thanks. And I'm going to be doing delivery Christmas cookies. Oh, yeah. Personalised as well. Good, oh, good boy. See. Oh, let's see. Right, I'm taking out these now. Um. To get two yeah, switch. Yeah, yeah, please. 
Are they need a bit longer? I think they need a bit longer, 30 seconds, and then they'll be ready. Another 30 seconds. 30? Thank you. Oh, yes, and I'll you wear it a few fleece again. It's so comfortable. Feel Do you like it. it? Lovely. Feel it. Can you feel it? I wish it, it was like that in there, though, but it's yeah. still warm enough. Good. A good boy. I'm going to play it up our tea and I'll show you what our tea looks like. Tea is served, made by the yeah. chef myself. We've got cod, a smoked paprika, the wedges, and mushy peas. What sauces are you going to have with yours, curry sauce? I decided to have some ketchup with mine because ketchup and fish. And I also put some pepper on in my mushy peas because it makes them taste. 10 times better. Fish and curry look quite nice as well. Is it? Yeah. I've never had that combo before. You have to let me know how it is. Oh, well, just... Taste just... test, come on. Come on, then. Mmm. Lovely, nice. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> the pot of choy for our pudding, because it'll actually go off tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, these are actually really good, though. If you haven't tried them, you need to try them. They literally taste of... The dairy milk chocolate. Where's the chocolate bits in it gone? It's all chocolate milk. It was last time I had one. Yeah, they're different ones. Oh. Yeah, but these <laughs> are amazing. Until I don't eat pudding. I know. Nice. Chocolate addicted. I probably had so much chocolate in this video, but it's fine. Honestly, it's fine. <laughs> Final snack of the day. I am aware I look a stain because I've took my eyelashes off. I have my glasses on because I really have bad ice cream but I'm going to have half this baguette because it needs eaten you obviously bought it today so I'm gonna have the other half and then I I'm going to go to bed because I am really tired and I am fairly hungry still so I'm gonna have this all the washing machine noise is in the background it'll make a lot of noise but anyway if you guys have if you enjoyed watching this video please make sure to leave a thumbs up a comment down below also subscribe and i will see you all in my next video bye everybody